Marley, it was supposed to be a harmless senior prank. High school seniors riding their bikes to school, but they wound up getting kicked out. Tonight, there is outrage from students and parents about that punishment. And 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie is live in Walker. Joe? Yeah, Sue, so first of all, I want to show you the shot right now. You are looking down Hendershot. That's a road that runs north off a of four mile road and just across the street is Kenawa Hills High School. Just down the street here is the middle school. You see that line of cars coming. They were at the administration building, which is just down on four mile. I want to take you to a picture of what was happening inside the administration building just a short time ago. People just packing that meeting. And they're here about this, this incident, this situation this morning. All these folks want to talk about it. There were so many people, they decided to move back here again live down to the uh, middle school building, uh, which is right again uh, just near the high school here off of Hendershot. This uh, board meeting was originally set as a, as a work session, just to get together for board members to talk about the normal things. But, of course, uh, everything changed this morning with the uh, senior prank that some school administrators just didn't appreciate. An intrepid Kennewa Hill senior worried about being singled out by her angry principal hit her phone as she recorded the principal going off on students. The rant came after seniors at Kennewa Hills decided to forego the usual senior prank, which in years past had featured graffiti painted lockers and super glued door locks in favor of a simple ride to school. Police escort right behind us with the lights on, going behind us so no one got hurt, no one rear ended us, no one passed us. All going like five miles an hour. But school officials, including Principal Katie Peddington, didn't like the idea. Claimed it caused a two mile traffic backup, made teachers and students late to school, and despite the fact Walker police brought up the rear of the parade, was dangerous. Walker Mayor Rob Verhulen was in the police car and tells 24 Hour News 8 the officer didn't express any concerns over traffic backups or biker safety. How much more safeguards would the school put in place considering the fact that Walker police were involved in this thing? Well, we had one police cruiser uh, with one officer behind the wheel protecting 64 students. Pennington's yeah. also upset the school didn't know about it, even though part of the reason for a senior prank is to surprise the school. Students were surprised by the reaction. She uh, kicked us out of school for the day. We got suspended for last day of school. A lot of us can't take our final exams. Parents showed up, more arguing. Pennington eventually backed off a threat to keep the kids from walking at graduation next week. I'm, I don't regret it. This is my but what started out to be what many thought was a positive response to the mischief of the past turned out much different. It left many wondering why. We didn't harm the school at all, but no one got hurt, and there was no damage done. Back here live at the uh, complex uh, where the high school and the middle school is. And again, you see all that traffic. Uh, the parking lot is pretty much full, and they've actually started parking on the grass over there for what again began to be a, just a normal work session for the school district, which has turned into something very, uh, very much, uh, oh, very much more of an event for the school tonight. They're going to have to answer some questions for parents and a lot of students as well. We have a crew here as well. We will have the latest for you coming up at 10 and 11. Live in Walker, Joe LaFergie, 24 Hour News 8.